morning everyone. Our topic for today is lesson 16-1. The title is Lines. You will find this lesson on page 821 up to page 824 from your book. Here are the learning objectives for today's lesson. You're going to draw and identify perpendicular, parallel, and intersecting lines and solve mathematical practices and problem solving with speed and accuracy. Let's analyze this one. The number line below is an example of a line. It is referring to this number line. A line goes on forever in a straight path into direction. So this is the first direction and this is the second direction. Then, Draw the following pairs of lines, two lines that will never cross, two lines that cross at one point, and two lines that cross at two points. So if you cannot draw the lines, tell why. So it's stated here that you need to be precise. Think and use math language you already know and show your work in the space below. So let's analyze the student's work. So Marcos' work. Mark or draws lines that will not cross this one. So these lines will never cross. Even you extend the line, they will never cross. Okay? And the second statement is these lines cross at one point. Okay? So these lines cross at one point. These two lines. And explain why lines can only cross at one point and he said that two lines cannot cross at two points because lines are straight so that is his answer based on the given instruction and the previous um, problem for Aiden's work Aiden draws and describes two lines that will cross why they will cross because if I'm going to extend this line okay and extend this line so they will meet okay so but he does not draw lines that will not cross or provide an explanation so it means Aiden's work is incomplete but Marcus work he did all the given instruction in the previous problem now how can you describe pairs of lines so a line is a straight path of points that goes on and on in opposite direction. So, a pair of lines can be described as a parallel, perpendicular, or intersecting. So as you can see here on the picture on the right side, the railroad tracks in the picture are parallel. So this is the railroad, railroad track, okay, because they never meet. So this and this, they will never meet. So the railroad tie, this part, okay, are perpendicular to the railroad track. Why? Because they intersect at right angle. Okay, so now let's focus on to the different uh, names or special names, okay, depending on the relationship of these different pairs of lines. So the first pair of lines is what we call a parallel lines. When we say parallel lines, it means never intersect, never cross, never meet. Okay. So this is an example of a, a, a parallel lines. Okay. So maybe the lines are horizontal or the lines are vertical. Okay. That is also an example of a parallel line or lines are diagonal. Okay. So that is also an example of parallel line. As long as the two pairs of a pairs of lines never intersect, that is what we call a parallel lines. Intersecting lines pass through the same point. So this is um, the point of intersection. Okay, they pass at one point at the same point. So this is what we call intersecting line. So we have different kinds of intersecting line. As long as they intersect or they pass through at the same point, that is what we call intersecting line. Okay. Now, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines, it means these are the lines that intersect. So it means these 
perpendicular line is also an example of intersecting line. Okay? So, in short, all perpendicular lines are example of intersecting lines, but not all intersecting lines are example of perpendicular line. Why? Because when we say perpendicular, they intersect, but they form right angles. Okay, so if you see this square on the corner, it means that is considered as a right angle. So if the intersecting line intersect and form a right angle that is considered as perpendicular lines. So those are the three pairs of lines given their special names depending on their relationship. Now, let's answer the following. What geometric term used to describe the top and bottom edge of the book? So if this is the book, like for example, so this is the top and this is the bottom part of a uh, bottom edges of the book so what geometric term is that so if i'm going to remove these two it looks like this okay so that is what we called a parallel line because there are straight lines that will never touch or never meet or never intersect or never cross okay next number two what pair of lines look like the blades of an open pair of scissors and why the answer is regular lines or intersecting lines why it depends on how far the scissors are open so if you open the scissor just like this okay so that is what we call the intersecting line okay so, but if you open the scissor just like this, so that is an example of perpendicular line. That's why it depends on how far the scissors are open. That's why the possible answer must be perpendicular lines or intersecting lines. Next, using the diagram on the right side, name four points. So we have point W, point x point y and point z okay so we can write the symbol at the top no problem okay or you just simply write w x y and z name for lines lines are we have the first line here line w x line w y line x z okay or z x and line y z or z y so those are examples of our lines based on the given diagram next name two pairs of parallel so parallel means they will never intersect okay so the first example is we have w x line w x and line y z so that is the first pair of parallel line another example is line w y and line x z so that is another pair of parallel lines so those are the examples okay next name two pairs of perpendicular so we all know that when we say perpendicular it forms a right angle they intersect two lines that intersect okay and form a right angle so the first example is uh, I have here X W and Y W okay so they meet okay they intersect and it forms a right angle so that is the first example another example is I have Y Z okay line Y Z and line X Z so they intersect and it form a right angle okay so that those are the two pairs of perpendicular lines and we have a lot okay wy and wx and wx and wz is also another example okay so use geometric terms to describe what is shown and be as specific as possible so number seven what kind of line is that that is what we call and they never meet question number eight 
So what is that? As you can see, they intersect and there is a square at the corner. Okay, so it means that yes, perpendicular lines. Okay, next, uh, what is that? There is a symbol of point there, so that is what we call point. Number 10 is a perpendicular lines. Number 11 is a parallel lines. And number 12 is what we call an intersect lines now draw what is described by geometric curves so these are the example of um of drawings okay is on the given we have the perpendicular lines okay so those are examples intersecting lines and we have what we call parallel lines let's proceed to mathematical practices and problem solving Question number 16. Bella names this line LM and Miguel names the line LM. Who is correct and explain? So you need to think about the math vocabulary when you write the explanation. So both are correct. Why? Because line LM and line LM refer to the same line. Okay? Next, number 17. If all perpendicular lines are also intersecting lines, are all intersecting lines also perpendicular lines? The answer is no. Okay, I told you already before. Perpendicular lines intersect and create right angles. So, not all of Perpendicular lines are not all intersecting lines, rather, also a perpendicular lines. Okay, next, number 18. Draw three lines, so two of the lines are perpendicular and the third line intersects the perpendicular lines at exactly one point and label the lines with points. So this is the example based on a, a given instruction. Okay, so we have Two of the lines are perpendicular, so which is the perpendicular lines here, and the third line intersect at the perpendicular exactly. So perpendicular is line BD and line CA, okay, and the intersecting line is this one, line DA, okay, intersect to line BD. So that is the example. Number 19. Line AB is parallel line CD. So line AB, this one, is parallel to line CD. And line CD, this one, is perpendicular to line EF. Now, describe the relationship between line AB and line EF. Where is line AB? This is line AB and line EF. So what is the relationship between these two lines? is AB, parallel AB, okay, or line AB rather, is parallel to line CD, which is perpendicular to EF. And line AB is also perpendicular to EF. So that is the answer in question number 19. In question number 20, which geometric term would you use to describe the power cables at the right? So obviously, okay, the, the answer is parallel lines because they will not intersect. So these two lines will not intersect, okay? So that is the different uh, pairs of lines and their special names. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much and have a nice day.